watching out for you. This is Newswatch 12 at 5. Senate Republicans are pushing to open rural parts of Oregon sooner. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Brian Morton. The senator joined us now live on Newswatch 12 Midday to talk about that plan. He says there needs to be a balance between protecting people who are most at risk and those that can start to work again. Senate Republican leaders say that they are asking Governor Brown to lift economic restrictions on parts of the state that have not been impacted by COVID-19. For the most part, that means rural counties east of the Cascades. The Senate Republicans say there have been daily conversations with the governor, and they say rural areas should be able to return to a new normal and get back to work. And I think in rural Oregon, where we should start is in our rural hospitals. I think we ought to take mitigation uh, to a new level so that these hospitals can start conducting business, elective, elective surgeries and stuff that they used to do. Most people don't realize these hospitals haven't been doing that and they are going broke. And the last thing I want are uh, hospitals in our rural communities going broke. From there, the senator says we can start to look at other industries that could possibly reopen. As a reminder, these are some of the things Governor Brown has said needs to happen before she will ease restrictions. They include increasing testing capabilities and having enough medical equipment. The growth of COVID-19 needs to slow down, and the state needs to have a tracking system in place to trace those who've come in contact with someone exposed to the virus. President Trump released guidelines for reopening last week, and he says he's leaving it to each governor to decide when and how to reopen economies. Now, the White House did release a three-phase approach. Each phase slightly loosens restrictions as areas meet certain criteria. You want to learn more about each phase, just head to our website at kdrv.com. And the debate on when to reopen is sparking small, sporadic protests in some U.S. cities. Whitney Weil brings us the latest now from Washington. Small groups of protesters are taking to the streets in some U.S. cities, demanding an end to stay-at-home measures. These policies are destroying this economy. A new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll suggests nearly 60% of Americans worry lifting restrictions too soon could make the pandemic worse. But these small groups of protesters have garnered support from the president. People feel that way. You're allowed to protest. Governors, meanwhile, are weighing competing guidance from public health experts and businesses on when and how to open up their state's economies. You don't need protests to convince anyone in this country that we have to get back to work. The question we all have to face is, what's the reality? If, if we go too quickly, uh, this could be unsafe for people. Making that more difficult, state officials say they don't have the supplies for widespread testing, a critical part of sending Americans back to work. More help is needed from the federal government on testing. We simply have not had enough test kits. We governors are doing the best we can with what we've got. On Capitol Hill, negotiations are underway on a new nearly $500 billion spending package to fund small business loans, hospitals, and more testing. Lawmakers now under pressure while some Americans grow restless in limbo. In Washington, Whitney Wild, News Watch 12.